Okay, uh, I have my antifreeze in, and <laughs> I have a leak that I have to fix. Well, I think it's still leaking. Let's see here. It might not. Maybe it was just dripping from something. I really need to look at that. I'll look at it a little closer here in a minute. It might have been just dripping off of where I bled it. Hopefully it is. Um, I have uh, two of my motor mounts on. I have my water in it. Um, my antifreeze. Uh, I have fuel attached here. And um, let's see, what else did I want to say? Oh, I had one of my, while I was hooking up my uh, uh, ignition, I pulled it over to check, make sure I had spark in all the cylinders. And uh, my PTO side had no spark in it. So I looked at my coil and the wire was pulled out of my coil. So I had to dig the wire kind of out of the coil and then I soldered the wire back on. It's kind of marginal. I'll probably buy another coil pack on eBay. Um, so we have gas, and uh, the cylinders are primed already, and uh, carbs have gas in them. And uh, we can, I don't know if I should choke. Oh, I put my pull rope through, so we'll give her a pull and see what happens. I won't run it for very long because the expansion chambers aren't on if it starts. So there you go. So <laughs> it does run. Albeit it runs rather fast. Probably because I don't have the pipes on and I don't have uh, the... Uh, clutch on which is probably allowing it to spin faster than it should so uh, we'll address that now I need to look at this leak here it does run though so there you go I'm gonna fix all the little problems here uh, the leak it looks like it's coming from the manifold above the water pump so I thought I had that everything perfect you just don't know though so you have to check out these things, and we'll fix it, and then uh, we'll get the pipes on it, and then we'll go from there. Probably I'm going to quit for today, because I'm happy that it runs.